Good day to you viewers. Uh, welcome to Biology Access. Today we'll be looking at a brief, we'll be making a brief look at the structure of DNA. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification button so that you will be timely notifi notified anytime we post new videos. Back to our topic, the structure of DNA. DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid, as they are hereditary materials that are responsible for the transmission of traits or character from one generation to another. And DNA are located in the nucleus of the cell. They are located in the nucleus of the cell. The structure of DNA is basically is made up of two strands dna's are double stranded that are wrapped together to form a double helix structure as you can see in the in the dark in the in the diagram on the board and the picture being displayed you will see that they are made up of two strands so this is the first strand and this is the second strand so when these two strands of dna comes together when those two strands come together they form what is known as dna and each of these strands is known as polionucleotide. So DNA is made up of two polionucleotide chains wrapped together. Two polionucleotide chains wrapped together. So when we have two polionucleotide chains wrapped together, that is what we know. That is what is known as DNA. So DNA starts from polionucleotide, polionucleotide chain. Now, what is polionucleotide chain? Polionucleotide chains are made up of nucleotides. They are made up of nucleotides. They are made up of nucleotides. So nucleotides are monomers of polynucleotides. Nucleotides are monomers of polynucleotides. The same way amino acids are monomers of proteins. Amino acids are monomers of proteins. So for us to have DNA, it will start from nucleotides. From nucleotide, when we have many nucleotides coming together, it will form polynucleotide. When we now have two chains of polynucleotide being wrapped together, it will form DNA. So DNA starts from nucleotides. From nucleotides, we have many nucleotides coming together. When many nucleotides come together, we have polynucleotide. But when we have one chain of polynucleotide, that's no DNA. But when another strands of two polynucleotides joined with another strands of polynucleotide and they are now wrapped together, it forms what is known as DNA. Now let's take a look at nucleotide. What are the components of nucleotide? Nucleotide basically has three components. We have the nitrogenous base, we have the pentose sugar, and the phosphate group. So in every nucleotide, in every nucleotide chain, as it has been uh, as it has been displayed on the picture that you can see, we have in every nucleotide, we have nitrogenous base, we have pentose sugar, and we have phosphate group. Phosphate group. So these are the components. These three are the components of nucleotide. These three are the components of nucleotide. It is from these three components that we, when these three components are joined together, there's a chemical process that, is, that, that will connect them together. When they are joined together, it forms nucleotide. From nucleotide, we have polynucleotide. And from polynucleotide, we have DNA. So for me, for us to have to produce DNA, we need these three things that will form nucleotide. From nucleotide to polynucleotide, and from polynucleotide to DNA. I hope we understand that. So let's take a look at each component of polynucleotide. We have the nitrogenous base. The nitrogenous base are of two types. We have the purines and the pyrimidines. The purines the purines and the pyrimidines. The picture of the purines is being, uh, is being displayed and we also have the picture of the pyrimidines. Now we have purines are of two types. We have the adenines and the guanines. And for the pyrimidines, we have the cytosine and the thymines. Now all these things being put together makes up the DNA. Makes up the DNA. It makes up the DNA. Now, it makes up the DNA. Um, before we look at uh, what, are, what, what are the basic characteristics of DNA, the basic characteristics of DNA are two. We have the antiparallelism and complementary base pair. Antiparallelism and the complementary base pair. 
What is antiparallelism? Antiparallelism means that the, the two strands of the DNA are antiparallel. If you look at the structure being displayed, you will discover that one strand of DNA will run from three prime to five prime, while the other strand will run from a five prime to three prime. The two, prime, the two strands of DNA cannot have the same prime. No, it can't have the same prime. It can't have the same prime. And that's one of the basic characteristics of DNA. It will be anti-parallel, meaning as one strand is running from three prime to five prime, three prime to five prime, the other strand is running from five prime to three prime, as we can see. The other strand is running from five prime to three prime, as we can see. The other one is complementary base pair. Complementary base pair. In the aspect of complementary base pair, one purine will bind to one pyrimidine. One purine binds to pyrimidine, or is linked to one pyrimidine. And as we can see from the board, adenine we always link to thymine, and guanine we always link to cytosine. So if we have a strand of DNA and we have a thymine at one strand, the other strand will be adenine. When we have C G, which is guanine on one strand, the other strand will be cytosine. So we must note that in every DNA, two things are important. Two things. The first thing is antiparallelism. Three times, three prime to five prime, five prime to three prime. And the second one is the complementary base pair. How does the nitrogenous base pair together? How would they pair together? The way they pair together is that adenine will pair with thymine and guanine will pair with cytosine. That is how they appear together. And you can see from the diagram displayed on the board that the, the nitrogenous base pair are always in the middle. They are always in the middle. And the backbone of DNA, the backbone of DNA is a phosphodiester bond. That's where we have the phosphor group. The phosphodiester bond. The phosphodiester bond is the bond that is linking two pentose sugar of two different nucleotides. Two pentose sugar of two different nucleotides, as you can see from the picture being displayed, being displayed, as you can see from the picture being displayed. So the backbone of DNA molecule, please know that the backbone of DNA molecule is phosphodiester bond. What is phosphodiester bond? It means phosphodiester. It means a phosphate group between two pentose sugar. Phosphate group between two pentose sugar of different nucleotides, of different nucleotides. So let's do a quick recap of DNA structure. A quick recap of DNA structure. We have DNA structure are made up of two doubles, they are double stranded. And each of these strands is known as polyonucleotide. And when we break down polyonucleotide, we have the nucleotide. And the nucleotide is made up of nitrogenous base, the pentose sugar, and the phosphate group. So the building block of DNA the building block of DNA is the nucleotides. When we have many nucleotides, we have polynucleotides. And when polynucleotide comes together, we have DNA. Thanks for listening. If you have